Oh, bonjour, welcome. Welcome to my restaurant. Thank you so much. Please come in and have a seat. Today, we have a fine list of specials on our menu. Let's see what we have here. Oh, you're just in luck. Today, we have a heartwarming story. That is a classic here at our restaurant, and you're lucky because it's served with a side of hilarious shenanigans. See, that one is my personal favorite, so I do highly recommend that. And also, if that doesn't tickle your fancy, we are also serving adorable animations. Okay, that one is a perfect one to share. It's good for the whole family. And last but not least on our list of specials, oh, dessert. We are serving cute little rats. It's, it's more of a metaphorical, fe a, a food for the soul, if you will, a feast for the eyes. Okay? Please don't eat the rats. All this talk about cooking has made me hungry, hungry for learning, which brings me to the sponsor of today's video, which is Skillshare. Skillshare is the largest learning community for creatives with thousands of classes led by industry pros on things like film, music, marketing, productivity, and so much more. I'm the type of person who is a hands-on learner, so I do best in an environment where I can actually put new skills into practice and learn as I go. This works perfectly with Skillshare as they take a learn by doing approach to teaching, where each member can create and share a project after completing a class. And if you're not sure where to start, Skillshare also features learning paths, which are curated sequential class collections to master a specific skill of your choice. With learning paths, you'll have access to a list of classes to take you from beginner to advanced, so you can have fun staying motivated while you easily track your progress as you work towards your goal. One goal of mine this year is to stick to a more regimented schedule and get organized. Working for myself, I have noticed that I often have a tough time staying organized while also being creative. This learning path, Organization and Planning for Creative Freelancers, offers multiple classes and strategies for this very conundrum. It offers classes on bullet journaling, how to maximize workflow in a creative space, and even a class on how to prepare for a big project launch. This new year, invest in yourself and your goals by starting a learning journey on on Skillshare to take your career, skills, or even side hustle to the next level. To try out Skillshare for yourself, just click the link in my description. The first 500 people to use my link will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video and thank you guys, of course, for listening to the sponsor. Now let's get back into the video. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here and welcome if you're new. Today, we are diving on into this movie, Ratatouille. I am so excited to be watching this one with y'all. It's one of those films that I have seen once and really don't remember much of it. All I really remember about this movie is the premise. All I remember is like, it's a rat. He wants to be a cook. There's a cook who's not a good cook. They work together. He stands on the guy's head and they're cooks. They, they cook things. <laughs> That's all I remember. So I'm really excited to watch this because I don't remember like any of the lines or the scenes or the dialogue. I just feel like it's going to be such a fun one to revisit today, especially because it's one of those movies that I saw once and then like forgot about. But I feel like this is one of those Disney films, Disney Pixar films rather, that has like cemented itself as like an iconic, amazing movie for so many people. Like even Tyler was like, oh, that's such a good one. Like so many people I know love this film. It's their favorite Disney Pixar film, or at least they have it in like the S tier list. For me, that's not really the case because I only saw it once and it was so long ago. So I'm really excited to watch it again and just have a fun time with y'all. And I apologize in advance to all of my um, French viewers out there, or really honestly, if you just like know French, if you took a little bit of French in high school, school, you know, just even for like a semester, I apologize because uh, if I say anything in this movie that has a lick of French in it, it's going to be pronounced wrong. I already know that. I went to Paris once and they did not like me there. I wasn't trying to speak French, by the way, because I, I knew that that would upset them. So I, I, I just tried to not say anything. And I swear to God, I think they knew because I would just sit on the subway in silence and I wouldn't even be talking. And I, I got a lot of dirty looks. So. I'm like, I don't know if that was a, a me thing or just everyone's getting dirty looks all the time in Paris, but I just took that on myself. Honestly, I, I feel like I was deserving of the blame, just being an American visiting Paris, like the audacity 
honestly. All of that is to say that um, I did not take French in high school and all my French pronunciations are garbage. But I did really love Paris and I do really like the French language even though I can't pronounce it. Um, so <laughs> I apologize if I have a little fun with this reaction, okay? Don't take it too personally. Um, I am an idiot. And I'm just really excited to get on into this one with y'all and have some fun today. So I think we should do just that. So if y'all are ready, Grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into Ratatouille. I'm sorry. Are we in the French countryside? Ah! This is me. <laughs> What's wrong with having highly developed senses? Whoa, 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 don't eat that! Turns out that funny smell was rat poison. Oh. Suddenly, Dad didn't think my talent was useless. Yeah, you saved their lives. Oh, what a cutie! Until Dad gave me a job. Oh, smell everything. Oh, I mean to be fair, it's a pretty important job. But he hates it. He hates this. Stay out of the kitchen and away from the humans. It's dangerous. Oh. There's something about. He them. wants to be a human. <laughs> oh my God! The way he's sitting on the ledge with the little feetsies. He's so cute. Why are you walking like that? Ah, I'm walking like a human. Oh. Walk on the same paws that we handle food with. It's true. I just realized he is walking like a person. It's so funny. There are possibilities unexplored here. We we gotta cook this. Oh. Yeah. Key. Oh, up there! Oh my God. You think that maybe we shouldn't be so? <laughs> Well, it's, it's done. It's cooked. I know what this needs. Saffron. A little saffron would make this. Why do I get the feeling it's, it's in, in the, the kitchen. kitchen? Yeah. <laughs> Why did we bring a meal in here? Poor Emil. You must be imaginative, strong-hearted. You must try things that may not work. And you must not let anyone define your limits because of... Oh, he's speaking right to him. You're only living through so... Oh, he's speaking right to him. But it was not to last. Oh, he died? Stowe's restaurant lost one of his five stars. Oh, no, it just lost a star. Review by Francis Top, food critic, <gasps> Anton Ego. The antagonist, a food critic. And the broken-hearted chef died shortly afterwards. Oh, he did die. Oh, no. I thought, oh, he died of heartbreak. Gusto is dead? <gasps> oh. <laughs> you made a mistake, Remy, no. <laughs> Oh, a gun, ma'am. Were you gonna shoot? Oh, it's an umbrella. Oh my God, no, it's a gun. <laughs> the twist. Ma'am, you are doing way more damage to your house than the rat is doing. Help, Remy, help! Neil, start swinging the light. <laughs> almost understand him. They're working together. This is brilliant. Let them live. They're so smart. Oh my God, Emil. No, you had to let go. Oh my God, bro. It got away. Now her whole house is falling apart. Yeah, ma'am. You did that to yourself, girl. Oh, do they live in her ceiling? No, they lived in her house and she never knew. Girl, she had that many rats living in her ceiling and she didn't know. The book, oh, that's how he went out the window with the book, I see. Dude, I hate to break it to you, the book is not gonna survive the water. Give him something to grab onto. No, it's good, he's gonna get separated, it's good. He's gotta go on his own journey. Who is that? What? J this woman is crazy. She's hunting. Listen, these rats are on a boat with oars and she's shooting at them like, ma'am, these are genius rats. What are you doing trying to kill them? They're so cute and smart. Also with a shotgun, you're gonna get what, one at a time? Like, what are you doing? Oh, oh, he's so cute and sad. I feel like I'm gonna cry in this movie, y'all, because I'm already getting worked up just at how cute the rat is. <laughs> sad he looks. <laughs> Nothing has even happened, really. Oh, wow. No way. Oh, it's been, why is it three stars now? A real gourmet kitchen and I get to watch. <laughs> You've read my book. Let us see how much you know, huh? Oh, there's a perfect little skylight for him to sit on. It's so cute. 
Uh, the Sioux is responsible for the kitchen when the chef's not around. Mm. This is a perfect way to like explain who everyone is in a cute way, you know? Well, showing how much the lead character also knows. Who is that? Oh, him? He's nobody. Not nobody. He is part of the kitchen. Aww. He washes dishes or takes out the garbage. He doesn't cook. But he could. Uh, <laughs> no. Well, that is not stopping him. See? What? Why did he do that? No. No! No, this is terrible! He's freaking out. <laughs> He's freaking out. Why is he doing that? Cause he, cause it, he dropped it and spilled some. He's trying to fix it. We gotta tell someone that he's not. Oh no. A rat in the kitchen is also like the worst nightmare of most people. No. Oh, he's trying to escape. He just gets pushed right back into the kitchen. Fate is like, nah, -uh. you're meant to be here. <laughs> Oh good, he opened the window. But you could, or you could fix the soup. Is he gonna fix it? Come on. He got a whiff of it. He's <laughs> so cute. Oh my God, the way he skids and Oh my God. The animation of this rat is actually just so adorable. He's washing his hair. Oh my God, he's so cute. Guys, I can't. This rat is so adorable. This It might taste nothing like it was supposed to taste, but I'm sure it'll be incredible. <laughs> Out of my way. Moving garbage, boy. You are cooking. Oh no. Oh, and the soup is gonna be good. Oh no. You're fired! F I R E D! Fired! She wants to see the chef. I bet she wants to see it because it's so good. What did she say? She likes the soup. Wait. <laughs> what do you mean, wait? You're the reason I'm in this mess. <laughs> Someone's asking about your soup. How can we claim to represent the name of Gusto if we don't uphold his most cherished belief? And True. What belief is that? That anyone can cook, dude. Anyone can cook. Yeah, the only guy here with an attitude problem is the head chef. I think you are a sneaky, overreaching little <gasps> rat! <laughs> oh no! Hey, uh, what should I do now? Kill it! Now? No! Not in the kitchen, are you mad? Oh, Remy. It's okay, the right guy caught him. Take it away from here, far away. I mean... Listen, I know having a rat in a kitchen is bad, but also it's Paris. Like, it probably happens a lot, okay? It's Paris. It's a very dirty city with a lot of rats. Like, you don't want them in the kitchen, but... Oh, no. Come on, let him out of the jar, man. Oh, no. Oh! Don't look at me like that. <laughs> you weren't the only one who's trapped. They expect me to cook it again. <laughs> I'm not ambitious. I wasn't trying to cook. Yay. I was just trying to stay out of trouble. You're the one who was getting fancy with the spice. <laughs> you can't kill him. He's incredible. What? Ro uh, rosemary? That's a spice, isn't it? Rosemary? <laughs> I need this job. Oh. I've lost so many. I don't know. Oh, be careful with that jar, man. Don't accidentally knock him in. Oh, did you nod? Yeah. Have you been nodding? <laughs> I can't cook, can I? But you, <laughs> you can, right? Look, don't yeah. be so modest. You're don't be so modest. <laughs> He's being modest. Oh my god, this is adorable. Hey, they like the soup! <laughs> That's exactly what I was terrified of happening. I love that jump cut. That's actually so adorable, y'all. Okay, I'm gonna let you out now. He might run away. But we're together on this, right? I don't know, he might run. Yep. Oh. Oh. Oh no, he feels bad. Oh, he has a guilty conscience the same way that Linguini felt guilty about throwing him in the river. They both need each other. Oh, his little puppy dog eyes. This is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. I'm definitely gonna cry, y'all. I'm getting worked up already. Rise and shine. Oh no. 
Idiot! I knew this would happen! I let a rat into my place and tell him what's mine is his! He's probably cooking. I bet he's cooking. That's what I get for trusting a rat! He's cooking little Is that for me? Oh my god! He's just so happy! He's just so happy to have a little hot plate and eggs. Oh no, we're gonna be late and on the first day! Oh no! We didn't get to enjoy his food! Poor little thing has not eaten this entire movie. He hasn't eaten anything. <laughs> oh my god, he's even wigglier now. Got to figure out a new tactic, y'all. Yeah! 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 Stop screaming in the pantry! Someone's gonna ask what's going on. What are you doing in here? I'm just uh, familiarizing myself with, you know, the vegetables and such. Get out! One can get too familiar with vegetables, you know! Oh, yeah? <laughs> How so? <laughs> Oh my god, did- wow. That was really flexible, bro. I'm starting to see why he's named Linguini. Oh, he pulled him under? That's amazing. He's controlled by his hair. Okay. Oh, we gotta go practice at home. Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh God, be careful. Oh my God. Oh, he's so good. Ah! Dude, he moves better with a rat on his head than when he's in control of his own motor skills. Oh, the letter from Renato. Yeah, what did it actually say? Cause he never actually read it. What? Get my lawyer. Huh? Well, the, uh, we'll stipulate that if after a period of two years from the date of death, no heir appears, Gusto's business interests will pass to his sous chef, you. Oh, oh, he technically has inherited the, oh, he's the heir. Oh, it should be his restaurant. <laughs> the rat. But, 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 but he, I he just is, dropped uh, my uh, keys. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, this poor chef thinks he's losing his mind. I mean, I don't feel bad for him because he's like an antagonist figure, but it's just hilarious. He feels like he's going insane. How is no one noticing him holding things up to his hat? Oh, I'll be right back. That hat better stay on. Oh, whoa, whoa, I forgot the anchovy decorations. Ah! <gasps> don't. Dale. I'm not, I'm not, I'm... Sorry. Ah! She's like, no, my dish is better. <laughs> or he, sorry. He's really a uh, blocking his friend Linguini though. He changed it as it was going out the door. Ah! They love it. Oh, the dinos are already asking about it. I have seven more orders. Seven more. He's a natural. Special order. Oh, he's so happy. Oh, I drink the grape like it's a little drink. Oh no, <gasps> the cheese knife. <gasps> is it one of his, is it a meal? Is it one of his family? Emmy! A meal? What are you eating? He's horrified by that. I don't really know. <laughs> I found a nice spot not far away, so I'll be able to visit often. Uh, visit? I will, I promise, often. Well, you're not staying? No, it's not a big deal, Dad. I just... I have a job. <laughs> I have a career. <laughs> and they're, you know, not so bad as you say they are. Come with me. Uh-oh. I got something I want you to oh, see. Oh, he's going to try to scare his son. Oh, all the rat poison and stuff. Oh. I'm not going to lie. Hanging dead rats in your window is a weird choice no matter what. Like, that's a weird advertising technique. I'm not going to lie. Like, you can just say exterminator. We get it. Well, that wasn't as bad as I thought. I thought his dad was going to be, like, more disappointed or angry. But his dad really just worries, you know? Oh, God. He... 
Dude. No, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. <laughs> it's not gonna work, bro. Oh god, the confidence though, okay. Dude, how is he not waking up? <laughs> Wake up, bro! What are you doing? The sunglasses? Really? Oh my god, we're actually gonna make him cook while he's asleep. Oh no, now he's really gonna look too cool for school because he's not speaking. So, the chef, he uh, invited you in for a drink. That's big. Oh, a whole bottle. That's big. What did he say? Oh, oh. <gasps> no. Oh, forgive me for intruding on your deep personal relationship with the chef. It's actually so much worse. No. You should have just let him sleep on the floor, Remy. I thought you were different. Oh, no. I thought you thought I was different. Oh, no, 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 no. <gasps> 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 oh. You have talent. No, but I don't. I, really, it's not me. <gasps> He's gonna out Remy. Yeah, I would have followed your advice. I, I would have followed your advice to the ends of the earth because I love you. Your advice. Little fast. Little fast. <laughs> love your advice. <laughs> what, you I have a rush. You have a rush? <laughs> I have this this tiny, uh, a little, little, a tiny chef who tells me what to do. A tiny chef. Be like, oh, so you're, you have mental health problems? <laughs> He's up here. In your brain. Yeah, why is it so hard to talk to you? Take off the hat! Uh. No! Yeah. <gasps> Remy just, Remy just, she, she, oh, she's into it? Okay, she's into it. I guess Remy's a good kisser. <laughs> So, Remy, okay, Remy went from being a block to actually being a great wingman. That was adorable. Oh, the entire clan's gonna be after me with their mouths open and up oh, here. It I is. think he's about to get trapped. Hey, your will. <gasps> oh, oh. Oh, wait, he's the one that's gonna figure it out? No way. I was wondering how this wrong was gonna be righted. Oh my god. I worry that that head chef is gonna show up. Your son is the rightful owner of this restaurant. <gasps> No! No! <gasps> ah! Oh my god. Oh no, he saw the rat. Oh no! Go on! It's none of my documents! Ah! It's getting... Oh no! You got on the best bar! Remy, run! Run, Remy! <laughs> no! The most important letter! Dude, Remy is the real MVP man. Putting in the work for Linguini. On a boat! He's coming? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Get off! No one invited you! Oh my god, that's amazing! He got lifted! Yay! Well, now he has proof that the rat is real. Get out of my office! He's not in your office. You are in his. Oh, Remy works quick! Remy works quick! Wow, that was so fast! I am uh, Gust Gusto's son. And it resulted in your taking ownership of this restaurant. How did you find out? Well... What now Remy wants him to tell the truth? Uh, inspiration has many names. Mine is named Colette. <laughs> what? Something stuck in my teeth. It's getting a little big for his britches. Yeah. <laughs> Bonjour, ma chérie. Oh, he's getting a little full of himself. <gasps> oh, Anton. You are Monsieur Linguini. Oh, hello. Pardon me for interrupting your premature celebration. Premature because I have not reviewed it yet. Oh, even Remy's scared of him. You're slow for someone in the fast lane. And you're thin for someone who likes food. <gasps> true. Actually true. I don't like food. I love it. If I don't love it, I don't swallow. Oh, okay. All right. If I don't love it, I don't swallow. <laughs> oh my God. He's so intimidating. The 
doors just closed. He doesn't have to touch them. I'm not your puppet, and you're not my puppet controlling guy. Uh-oh. Get your mind right, little chef. Not like- Go is coming, and I need to focus. You need to focus, bro. You're not a cook. You can't do anything without him. All right, dinner's on me. We'll go after closing time. In fact, tell dad to bring the whole clan. Oh no. I don't blame him. He's been abused. He's over it. But I don't think it's going to go well. I, I thought you went back to the, the apartment. I don't know. I, it, it didn't seem right to leave things the way that we did. Oh, he's apologizing. That's good. Oh, they're all hiding on the squares. I haven't been fair to you. You've never failed me, and I... You really haven't. Oh my god, Emil, enough, bro. You've been a good friend. The most honorable friend <laughs> that I could ever have. <laughs> well, how could you? I, I thought you were my friend. I oh no. Get out, you and all your rat buddies. And don't come back or I'll treat you the way restaurants are supposed to treat pests. Oh no. Oh no. You're right, Dad. No, he got mad because you were stealing and you promised you wouldn't. And the thing is, you would felt wrong doing it. You know it was the wrong thing to do. I don't know what Linguini thinks he's gonna do. It's not like he can cook without Remy's help. Observe. No, wait! It was a trap. Oh, it was a trap. And I bet it was set for Remy specifically. It was. I pretend to be a rat for my father. I pretend to be a human through Linguini. I, I pretend you exist so I have someone to talk to. I know who I am. Why do I need you to tell me? Why do I need to pretend? Oh. Ah, but you don't, Remy. You never did. No. No. Oh, that's so beautiful. <laughs> Yay! Oh, Jesus. Yay! You don't need to pretend. You can be yourself. Where are you going? Back to the restaurant. They'll fail without me. Yes, they will. Why do you care? Because I'm a cop. <laughs> oh my God, this is so cute. <laughs> oh my God. Remy, don't do it. Oh, they're trying to stop him because they don't want him to get hurt. We're talking about what to do right now. <gasps> no, come on. <gasps> Touch him. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for coming back, little chef. Oh my God. He's gonna stick up for him right now. He's the one behind these recipes. He's the cook. Oh. He's been hiding under my toque. He's been controlling my actions. He's gonna show him. <laughs> You've been giving me credit for his gift. Yeah. Oh, this is so beautiful. I mean, it's his restaurant, so technically we can do whatever he wants, right? <laughs> this brilliant little chef can lead us there. What do you say? You with me? Oh God, I don't know. They might all walk out. Yeah, oh no. Are they all, are they all gonna walk out? Damn. Did they all leave? Did she stay? She stayed. Is she gonna leave too? She looks betrayed, no. They're all just disappointed because they believed in him and it wasn't him at all. Oh man, that's so sad. Come on, Colette, turn around. Go back. Anyone can cook the book in the window. Oh, she's going to turn back. Dad. His dad, his dad came in. I don't know what to say. I was wrong about your friend and about you. Oh. This really means that much to you? Okay. No way. Oh, no way. Okay, they gotta wash their hands because they're disgusting. Because Remy is a clean rat. They're not that clean. <laughs> oh, no. Stop that health inspector! Oh, that was really bad timing. That was really bad timing. He was a little early. Yep, wash your hands. Yeah! Oh, they're getting fully bathed! Wait, that's so great. Team four, roasted items! Team five, grill! Team six, sauces! Get to your stations! Let's go, go, go! <laughs> oh my god! We need someone to wait tables. Yes, 
He's gonna do that on roller skates, no less. Holy cannoli. He was such a klutz at the beginning of this. What if all of a sudden he's graceful? Colette, wait! Colette, Colette, I- Don't say a word. If I think about it, I might change my mind. Just tell me what the rat wants to cook. <laughs> Ratatouille. It's a peasant dish. Ratatouille. Yeah. It's a classic. The inspector. <laughs> you got to serve him more than that, to be honest, because uh, he's been waiting a long time and that, no offense, that is not enough food. Ratatouille? They must be joking. He's gonna love it. I bet he's gonna love it and he's gonna hate the fact that he loves it. Then what if he goes back in the kitchen? He's gonna swallow. He's gonna swallow. Oh, it transported him back to childhood. That's how you know he likes it. Wow. Oh, I'm gonna cry. Oh, wow. That is really well done. Oh, he dropped the pen. This is how you take down a villain, y'all. Oh my God. Dude, I'm a mess. This movie. I don't remember crying the first time I watched this at all. Oh, he loves it. <laughs> <laughs> He's going through all <laughs> levels of emotion. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, lock him up, lock him up. Don't let Anton go back there though. If you wish to meet the chef, you will have to wait until all the other customers have gone. Oh. So be it. Oh, he'll wait. He's gonna meet the chef. Oh my god. Oh my god. At first, Ego thinks it's a joke. Oh no. He's gonna, is he gonna be horrified? <gasps> oh god, I'd be horrified if I saw this, I'm not gonna lie. He doesn't react beyond asking an occasional question. Oh god. His review. Oh my god. What's he gonna do? In many ways, the work of a critic is easy. We risk very little yet enjoy a position over those who offer up their work and their selves to our judgment. Damn, truth. It's like what I'm doing right now. <laughs> Except I'm usually pretty generous. In the past, I have made no secret of my disdain for Chef Gusto's famous motto, anyone can cook, but I realize only now do I truly understand what he meant. Damn. Yeah, man. It is difficult to imagine more humble origins than those of the genius now cooking at Gusto's. In this critic's opinion, nothing less than the finest chef in France. Wow. Ah! Is its unpredictability. Yeah, oh no. Yeah. Of course they ratted us out. No. That's so sad. Ego lost his job and his credibility. Ego lost his credibility and his job? Oh my God. He's doing very well as a small business investor. He seems very happy. How do you know? Cause he's here. Oh, he invested in their new restaurant. In their new restaurant. They started a new one. Well, they gotta hide the rads better this time. He got a little chef hat. Oh my God, he's got, oh, he's got a little staircase built so he can watch. Can I interest you in a dessert this evening? Don't you always. Which one would you oh. like? Surprise oh, me. Ah. Oh my God. What a redemption arc for like the, I mean, I guess there's two villains really. The real villain was the head chef of the restaurant originally, but like what a redemption for this one, you know? And they have a line out the door. Fiend. Ah. Oh my God, bro. That was so much sweeter than I remember. I'm still tearing up. That was so beautiful. I love that there were so many relationships for the protagonist that perfectly personified his journey and his demons and what he was going through and like trying to embrace who he was and who he was meant to be as a cook. Like he's got his father who he's trying to act like a rat for and follow what his dad wants him to do to stay safe and you know, not 
fraternized with humans and then he's got this life that he's trying to hide from like this head chef guy working with Linguini. He's got to hide everything and acting more like a human and trying to not be perceived as a rat so that people don't, you know, step on him or see him or are scared of him because he's got to hide his existence completely. And then he's got like this whole Gusto figure in his head that's like teaching him that it's okay to be who he is and he's got to like take risks to actually achieve what he wants to be in life not let fear hold him back it's so beautiful like honestly i i remember seeing this movie but i don't think it really like hit home for me how great it was at the time when i watched it now it's like wow i really get it it hits so hard as somebody who's worked in like self-starting industries or in entertainment or in artistic job pursuits like it really applies to anything though you know you will never get anywhere in life if you don't push yourself to go outside of your comfort zone and if you don't challenge yourself and face your fears of failure, if you don't face your fears of potentially alienating family or different professionals because you know you want to do things a specific way that's unique to you, you'll never get anywhere in life if you don't take risks and try. So that was like such a beautiful part of the story and then for him to realize that he doesn't have to pretend to be anything he's not he can just be who he is which is a cook so sweet so beautiful and then the whole journey for like one of the main antagonists too with like the, the way they executed that first bite of ratatouille was so emotional and genius just seeing him get transported back to childhood and eating ratatouille from his mother and then getting transported back immediately to the table and the dropping of the ballpoint pen like his weapon, he let it go. He let his guard down because that was the first bite of food he'd had in a long time that actually made him happy. And the real reason that he's been so miserable and so horrible to be around all these years is because he hasn't had food like that. He does love food. And like, you know, it's funny the whole time you're thinking, oh my God, he doesn't, this guy doesn't seem like he loves food. He's so skinny. But no, he was like, I just have, I don't swallow because I, if I don't love it, I don't swallow. And in that end of the movie, you could see he's really had this total redemption because he actually is happy because he's being served food that he truly loves and is worth swallowing. <laughs> Oh, I love this movie. It was so good. I definitely understand why people love it so much. The animation style, like I, it didn't stand out to me the first time, but now rewatching it, I'm like, wow, the body movements of everyone were so funny and cute, especially the rats. Like Remy was such a cute character and the way they animated him. And you could just see the love in his body um, when he'd be cooking, like it was a dance, you know, versus Linguini, who was just clumsy and awkward in the kitchen. It was not a dance. <laughs> It was like a total mess. And also the name Linguini is just perfect for that. I'm just so glad I watched this one again because it was so heartwarming and beautiful. And I think it's a great message. I hope you all enjoyed watching this movie with me. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up so that I know and I can check out more stuff like this in the future with all of y'all. Of course, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below or anything else you might like me to check out next and subscribe if you want to. Till the next one, stay golden. Bye.